Hi there everyone and welcome to the ninth tutorial in the Software Beginners tutorial series and in this video we're going to take a look at alternative command and text processing systems. Now the systems that I'm aiming at is YCMD as well as SCANF. Now the reason why we want an alternative is that on player command text and we can go down to it and make sure by the way that you return one on, on player command text if you want to use another system because if you return zero here uh, every time you do a command it's going to return zero now on player command text is great for beginners but it's kind of slow and when you get the CMD text you will actually not only get the parameters but the complete string of text that the user wrote so instead we're going to use scanf which is going to make it possible for us to actually get all the parameters and then we're going to easily extract the parameters and parameters could be if we use a function or a command like slash set skin then the first parameter could perhaps be the player that we want to set the skin for and the next one the skin so scanf is used uh, as a text processor and it's going to make it easier for us to extract the uh, command parameters that the user actually wrote and the command itself is going to be processed by YCMD which is a command processor and it's a lot quicker than on player command text and usually you would use a system called SDR talk but that's deprecated meaning that it might actually be not be included in f further uh, versions and it's not recommended to use it. So YCMD is the system that we're going to use and this is actually part of YSI which is a package of a lot of includes and the Y commands include is in this package so we, what you want to do is to search for YSI 3.1 we're then going to head to the download section and download YSI 3.1 or any version which is uh, at the point. We're going to save it on our downloads directory. We're then going to head over to the scanf page and you just search for uh, scanf. We then go to the download section and you will do download the source Windows DLL as well as the include. You then want to open your own server directory as well as your partner directory then go into your English directory. You firstly want to open the YSI package. Inside a y, uh, YSI package you want to open the first folder. You then go to Pano and in include. You then drag all of your those files inside that include folder to your own include folder. You can then close the YSI package we then go over to scanf we go into pano include drag the scanf include inside our, our include directory we then head back to the plugins directory and we're then going to go to plugins inside the scanf directory head, uh, take this one DLL file inside our plugins directory we're then going to edit our server.config and you're going to have to add a line if you haven't already which is called plugins and the parameters of this line is going to be all the plugins that you're going to run and if you're on Linux you have to write .so uh, but on Windows you can just write the name so it's scanf as you can see here on the file and once you have done so you go back to your Pano application you will then have to include them and we do hashtag uh, include we then will search inside our Pano include folder so we use the angel brackets we do ysi backslash y underscore commands we then do another hashtag and this time we're going to include scanf2 and both these are for command oh, this one is for command processing this one is for text processing now the command that we're going to make is actually one which will set the skin of the player 
and to do a command all you have to do is to give it the CMD tag give it a name so this will be set skin I'm going to give it a few parameters and the parameters will be the player ID the one that wrote it we'll then do params and then we just end it like a function we're then going to uh, since we're going to extract some variables we actually have to or parameters of the command we're going to have to uh, declare some variables for it so the ones we're going to do is the first one is going to be the target ID the one that we s want to set the skin for we then have a skin ID we then do scanf we're now going to use the text processor scanf to check the params which is the parameters of the command and now we're going to use a specific um, string here and this string as you can see here has to have a few specifiers so we want to specify the amount and the type of variables so you just write if you want an integer uh, perhaps you write i and if you want a number you would do n and an octal you would do o and so forth now we just want to, uh, the first one to be u actually because u stands for username or an id and the second one should be an integer so we do i so we will do ui and we're going to save the first one which is u in the target id and the second one in skin id and this one has of course to be inside an if statement now if this function returns true then it's actually false so this one is inverted then we're going to return and this is inverted as I said so this is actually if if it does not then it's going to return something and it's going to send a client message to that player ID and in the color green and this is we're going to have to redefine this one actually so I'm going to the top define a new color color green and since we want no red we do zero zero we want uh, green we do FF we want no blue we do zero zero and want FF for tr uh, full transparency or zero and then we do uh, the string which is was basically say usage and then slash set skin then we have actually a uh, player ID or target ID and then we have the skin ID so what this will do is if the user does not write um, a, a target ID which could be a player ID or a player name as well as a skin ID when using the set skin command then we're going to say that you have to use it like this and then we're going to check if the player is connected so inside an if statement we'll do is player connected and we're going to uh, add an exclamation mark before it which will tell that if it's not connected and then we're going to return and send a client message to the player and tell him that user is not currently online we're then going to check another thing and this time we're going to check if the ID of the skin is valid so the skin ranges from 0 to 299 so we're going to do and we're going to add these ones if you do control alt of course depending on your location you and then the angel brackets you will do two signs which are uh, these this will be that either of these statements uh, of this side then it's going to be uh, returning something so if the skin ID is less than zero or if skin ID is greater than 299 then we're going to return and send a client message to that player with a green color saying that skin is invalid we're then going to actually set the player skin and we're going to set the skin for the target ID 
and we're going to send it to the skin ID. We're then going to send another message to the target ID saying with color green your skin was changed and we're going to send the same to the player ID but we're going to say that you changed the player's skin. We're then going to return one signaling that the command was processed uh, correctly. We're then going to compile and we've got two errors saying that the first one is syntax error in expression or invalid function call and undefined symbol ID and it's on the lines 223 and 226 and the 226 one is just because I did small IDs it should be big IDs and then we have 223 which is if is play corrected oh of course we have to specify and give the function the parameter of the target ID. Then going to save and compile. And now if we go in game and we do slash set skin without any parameters, if we say usage slash set skin target ID skin ID, same thing if we only give it one parameter like the zero which should be my ID. However, if we give it my um, player ID, however, we give an uh, invalid skin like 500, it's going to say that the skin is all uh, invalid. However, if we give it a valid skin, it's actually going to change my skin. And if we check in the tab, it says that I'm the only one online. So if I set someone else like one, then it's going to say that user is not currently online. So that's it and I truly hope that you thought that the system was simple. You have to keep in mind that this time you had to install the includes as well as the plugin. The next time all you have to do is write the CMD tag, the name of it, uh, give it the parameters and you're good to go. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.